And by the looks of it, the producer says that we're just about ready to start the matchup itself. So I think we could start slowly sliding into the game view and see. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm seeing right now. I think the guys are ready to start the match as well. And I'm, I'm eager to see what these two guys can pull off. It's a best of five between Shadow from Romania and Max from Germany. One of them will be going into the finals, into the best of seven to compete for that victory prize. The first crowned victor of the Ulti Clash League. The other one will have to go all the way through the uh, through the bronze match. And, you know, it's a grudge match at that point since only one of them is going to end up having money in their pocket. The other one will be left completely empty-handed. And considering how many players we've had in this entire tournament, it would be a shame to be dropped into fourth place. But it's not an entire walk of shame, though, because, you know, you've pulled, proved yourself and you've pulled yourself all the way through to the top four players of the tournament. So that is a feat in itself. Hopefully you guys are still hanging in there. Don't disappear anywhere. It looks like we're ready to go. And let's rock this first game in this best of five. We've got Shadow and we've got Max. Shadow playing on the bottom side and Max on the top. Both are running on full 10 elixir. And now we're just waiting for either player to make their first move. And this can, this is this is like the most anticipating part of the game because we don't know which, which cards these guys have that will be revealed in time. And then we have our first unit. On the board by Shadow. Uh, let's see if Max is going to respond on the right side. As he will. He will send a dragon heading that way. Uh, these units will meet up. Are we going to go for a full charge on the right side? As the dragon is taking a bit of damage. But that is, you know, that's a very tanky unit to take down. We'll be challenged by another dragon. And a very heavy push coming in from the right side. Very good fireball usage there as well. But... Already taking a bit of towers, Shadow's right side tower. And an Elixir Golem has been dropped out by Shadow and is making his way all the way to the tower. Will get knocked out. Doesn't seem to get any hits out. A couple though. That's a couple hundred damage dealt on the tower. One minute and 40 seconds still up and running. We've got a lot of Barbarians heading, heading their way. Another Archer will be spawned. The Archer Tower is just having no problem at all, just clearing out all of these Barbarians. And finally, we got some activity going on on the left side. But it doesn't look like Max really needs to put any pressure on the, on the left side at all. He will just allow a couple hits onto his tower. He will be fine with this. However, 1700 HP still remaining. That dragon is doing quite a lot of damage. And when you get the usage here, there's got a lot of action happening here. The fireball doesn't quite connect as the way he would have hoped for. And also these little bats will be cleared out. And now there's a heavy push coming in from Shadow towards Max's right side tower. Instant response here with another dragon. And the elixir golems will finally get a couple punches in on this. Still 35 seconds, and we're still running on double elixir. Let's see who's going to take that first tower because it's still really tied up. This is anybody's game. 1300 HP on both all the right side towers. The left side has been completely ignored. We're just playing one side. We're not seeing any mirror type movements here. And a double dragon push. Running down to the last seconds, and we're... If if not a miracle's gonna happen, we're gonna head straight into sudden death. A little bit of a different uh, approach here for, for the first game, you know, just seeing what's happening and Shadow. I think Shadow has the upper hand. It looks like Shadow will be able to take down that tower. Max already flipped out the well played, but his tower will still survive and he's going for the counter attack. But there's a lot of elixir in Shadow's side, and he will try and give a good response here, but he knows, he actually feels like his game is already played here. And now the Witch is also making her way down the right side to the tower, but still gets taken down. There's an elixir golem coming in as well. And I think this is game here. I think Shadow will be taking the first match here. 
slowly but surely finally takes down that right side tower and shadow will take the first point here in this best of five and that was a well we could see a lot of action going on on the right side with with shadow and max just countering both sides attacks pretty well at the start but i think that the the tempo and the pace just got a bit too much for max to respond with his with his cards and so shadow found his openings and managed to take the first game And then we're also back in the studio. We're going to wait one or two minutes until we get the next game up and running and keep you guys entertained with some great Clash Royale action. It's been a very interesting road here in this tournament as well, considering we've had a lot of great players. We've had a lot of pro players also competing here in this tournament. And only a few of them have made it all the way to the end of the... Well, how would you put it? It's not even a bracket at that point because it's a really, really a death match. It's a real scrap to get all the way to the end of the playoffs. And let's get into game two. And let's see if Max is able to score any more extra points for himself. Another slow start <laughs> once again. Are we going to go try the left side maybe this time? Nope. That's a little ta taunt there from uh, from Shadow. And a little engagement. The bats will go on both sides and will quickly be taken down by the archers. So nothing, nothing too special here. Very peaceful up till now. Only 100... Bit over 100 damage dealt on that left side tower. And here we go. The Barbarian starting to roll down the right side. And look at that. It's our good old friend Sparky. There goes the first shot from Sparky. And it's going to be a very long recharge. But there are no other extra units to challenge this. And let's see if Max is going to drop a lot of units on the right side. Try and drop the Sparky down as quickly as possible. At least he manages to take down the Barbarian Tower. A couple hits coming in. Onto Max's right side tower. That's a little shift of plans here from Shadow as he also heads towards the left side here. I've got a little couple of little, little piggies and boars coming in from that left side. And does quite a lot of damage onto Shadow. It's almost 500 that he got with that one small little push. As we're closing up on the final minute of play. And the double elixir is going to kick in right now. Sparky's taking a couple of hits here. But instantly spawns himself a wizard to tank those hits. So Sparky stays alive for just a bit longer. Still alive, and a lot of Barbarians spawn around, but Sparky's not going to survive this one. And a Snowball coming in here, as well as a lot of units. Good usage of the Lightning there. Down to the last 30 seconds. Very different from the first game. And another Boar Charge doing a bit more than 500 damage this time on the right side tower of Shadow. Is that a Goblin Ogre we spot here in the Barbarian camp? The Barbarian Tower is going to take the majority of the hits while the Archer Tower gets a few hits in. And with a Snowball, we'll quickly finish off the Ogre. But a lot of units and Max needs to respond, but it's too late for him to try anything against Shadow. And Shadow will take this series into 2 and 0. Oh. So only one more victory away from knocking out Max from the final chances for him we could possibly also see a, a possibility of a little you know what we like to call a reverse sweep but then again max is going to have to try and find some new tricks up his sleeve to try and answer shadow's aggressive plays but then again it's been a lot of waiting between the both players they're playing it slow taking their time trying to see what's going to be their their final strat and how is the opponent going to try and respond to their gameplay because right now, it's just waiting for both sides to make the first move. 
and not really giving too much about their strats on how they're going to take the approach into the game. But it's 2-0 and for Shadow now. And when you're up, up against the wall, you got to start pulling off some magic tricks up your sleeve. And Max, the guy who's had 21 victories and only four losses in this entire tournament, is now one match away from dropping into the bronze game. So we'll see what's going to happen in game three between two, uh, these two guys. Getting some signals from the producer that we're still slightly waiting for the third game to start. I'm very sorry if the, if I'm being slightly clunky here because, you know, it's it's been maybe a bit too long since my last Clash Royale cast. And, well, hopefully you guys are still at least enjoying the players and the games that's, that's going on. So, third match, right up on your screen right now. <laughs> And now the third game is underway, and the waiting game commences. A lot of good moves from Max there in uh, in the second round. However, he just couldn't find enough openings to just punish Shadow for for being on Shadow's side of the, of the map, and just ended up taking well losing his units maybe a bit too early when shadow finally <laughs> mustered up a lot of elixir managed to get a really good counter push happening and also on both sides that he had a little fake to the left side and then just massing all the way onto the right side and just just crushing that tower down what do we have in max's deck this time because you know the players are changing their decks a bit max tried to respond to shadow and start to take some of his units very quick play here with Miner. Straight onto Shadow's left side Archer Tower. That's a couple hundred damage dealt. Let's see what we're gonna see. Dragon is gonna be tanking that tower for a bit and just soak up all the attention. These barbarians trying to squeeze their way through, but these, these bats will just eat those poor little barbarians alive. Dragon spawn here from Max. A lot of units being thrown onto the field. There's a lot of elixir in Shadow's side, and he will just use his fireball to counter these two big units. And also the great thing here about the Barbarian Tower is you've got those Barbarians just running right next to the Dragon and pulling off aggro, so keeping the Dragon busy, and he manages to keep his Barbarian camp alive as well with just a sliver of HP, and it will run out of time. A couple of Barbarians coming in as well. However, Shadow hasn't really done that much damage on Max's left side. And this could potentially mean that we're going to go to a third sudden death. Unless with this crazy charge coming in from Max. Fireballs on both sides. And it's turning out into Max's favor. 1800 HP now. Still keeping up the pressure. Another Barbarian camp spawned. Dragon still continues to soak up hits. Finally ends up going down. And we are down to the last 10 seconds. It looks like we're gonna go to a third sudden death. But is Shadow gonna pull off a miracle here? He's been taking a lot of hits. Is he finally able to respawn? A lot of Barbarians coming in from Max, a fireball, and it looks like Max has finally found his weapons. The dragon is, however, there, and the tower will also clear out these Barbarians. They don't seem to be able to get a single hit in. And the battering ram is underway, but it gets destroyed just before hitting the tower. And another fireball coming in from Shadow. 1100 HP on that tower. Max is in really big trouble. He still has a couple units coming down onto Shadow's side, but they will not live to hit the tower a single time. And Max is still struggling to get that offense working on his favor. Another barbarian camp, camp coming in. Dragons on both sides. Max is still relying on the power of these dragons to work for him. But right now, it looks like the dragons are just so much focused on all of these barbarians coming in. 
and they won't even get to the tower. There is a miner, though. But that miner, miner will be taken down, and a great fireball from Shadow just evaporates everything Max had. And the battering ram will make it through, and 300 HP is all that separates these two. As Shadow is trying to go for another, maybe even a final push here with the bats. Another fireball, and I think with the next, it should be game over here. And Shadow is feeling himself. Another fireball from Max. And a miner will approach. 200 HP, this could still turn. And Max is panicking, but that fireball will finish off the job. That's GG, and Shadow with a clean 3-0 sweep will make his way into the final. It looked like we only had one player who had everything in his hands on whatever he wanted to do in this series. Congratulations to Shadow. We will see you in the finals, and Max will be playing in the bronze matchup. However, we're going to take a little break until we...